Pardon? And they were originally going to bill us back for the labor to put the salt shed up, and they agreed to do that for us. They put the us. cover up for us. <coughs> we, we just paid for the material, and they did everything for free. And wasn't that the gentleman that came and presented us the specs on that building? No, no. We got this. This is a canvas cover, the one we got on a Smoky Hollow 301 side, because it, it's a lot smaller than the one the dome we're going to get. Um, the one that we used to have over here, when it collapsed last February, and I dug into the records, it collapsed three times in eight years. To me, it's just pure stupidity to rebuild the same thing again. That's why I, I, I recommend we invest in a, in a, you know, a structure for the future. Um, so the other thing we did for the little one on 301, they had the, the, the way the struts are, you can get them for severe northern climate, which we did over here. And now the guys, they also have, like when we had so much snow on it last week, they take the bucket truck, the tree truck, and they clean off the roofs and to take the weight off of it. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's, it's coming out good. We, we get this, this big shed over here and we have that over there. We're in pretty good shape with that. Okay. And we have money left, the money that you appropriated, the 200,000 for the salt shed. Um, and there's money left over from the insurance, which what I, we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna make poured concrete bins to keep our material in because they're supposed to be contained also. So next to the salt shed, we're gonna dig into the hill and I've been speaking to um, Judy Mangarello, the engineer from the planning board, and we're gonna put three bins in so we can keep our gravel, we can keep our, um, you know, our, our sand, we can keep our different item four and different materials and they're contained and the DEP is happy with that. But just so I mentioned uh, before also, we are under order by the DEC one year to get this shed up and, and I'd like to, you know, and, and the New York State DOT is only letting us use their shed on Luddingtonville Road for one year. So the, um, I appreciate you letting us get this out right away because um, I'd like to hit the ground running in April and start the construction. We're going to do the base work. We're going to put in the, the base gravel and the, and the blacktop ourselves to save money and then they're going to come in and construct the shed. But if we can get that, I'd like to actually have a town board meeting down at the garage say, in June so everybody can see it. It's going to be good, so. Well, and the, um, the notice to bidders um, that has been drafted actually gives the date um, to have bid, that the bid opening would be March 20th. And then we would announce the, um, we would award the contract at the town board meeting on March 24th. So if we did that, you know, hopefully they could, uh, I mean, if everybody's okay with those dates, that should be enough time. And then, uh, you know, you could start in April. That would be wonderful. And then, so the next meeting you'll decide, vote on the AC or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think anybody's ready to. I didn't put it on the meeting portion of the agenda because I thought. When is the I next meeting, Warren? The next meeting. Next week. Tuesday. A week March from today? 3rd. Yeah. All right, what I'll do tomorrow is I'll type this up so it's legible and I'll, and I'll have it emailed to you so you can look at the, the rough wattage. And just remember, I'm just using a 30-day average, uh, saying it's on 24 hours a day, so my numbers are a little overinflated, but it's still going to be a large savings. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Richard. <clears throat> the next item on the um, workshop agenda is the Recreation Department Community Projects Appropriation Contract. And I invite Lou Fernandez, our Director of Recreation, to come forward. <clears throat> Good evening. I uh, wrote the town board a letter in regards to the community <coughs> projects appropriation contract. Um, this was something that the town had received in 2007. And to date, the work that has been done has been primarily focused on uh, bathroom facilities up at Houston's Park. Now, we have received plans for the fields 
uh, the Putnam County has approved those plans um, and, and that has taken approximately uh, 19,000 of the 35,000 that was originally awarded. I've spoken to um, John from Insight Engineering who gave me the rough estimate costs to construct that which was about $100,000 not including the actual bathroom facility and um, I feel at this point in time um, the remaining funds would be better suited to look at some other projects within the park that need to be addressed uh, while the town chews over the idea of maybe bathrooms at Houston's Park at some point in time. Um, there's about $15,000 and change left. Um, the original broad spectrum focus was to in, increase the, the um, or to improve the athletic fields at Houston's Park. The specific goal was looking at bathrooms. So I'd like to go back to the state and amend that and see if we can get them to approve a change in our focus and become focused more on what I think the best use of those funds would be to, to remove the old backstops and put new backstops um, down at the, at the park there. Um, I think the, the rough cost in those will probably be about $13,000 to remove and, and put new ones there. Um, there, you know, there could be some additional fence work depending on what those prices come in at that we could get done. Um, but it, it would have to be approved by the state, the change. You know, I'd have to submit the paperwork. They'd have to approve it. Once they approve it, then we could go back out and, uh, you know, I can get the RFPs together to do backstops there and hopefully, you know, get the work done and get the invoices turned into the state and get things done because we, we have, this has been extended quite a few times. The original contract was 2007 to 2009. Uh, it has been extended yearly from 2009 till now. So, um, you know, to this point, I really don't think that, uh, long, you know, the long-term look of bathrooms is going to get us spending that money in the next, you know, three or four months. I think that's a, a much longer conversation that the town board needs to have as, as far as that goes. And that $15,000 won't really come very far as bathrooms go for Houston's Park. Um, so I think that's something that would present a, a viable change and improvement to the park would be a direction that would be best suited at this time if we can get the approval by the state. I, I just have a couple of questions. Mm -hmm. um, you say that, the, that they estimate the cost of bathroom construction without the building yes. would be 100000 So that's just for septic? That is for the septic, the, the <coughs> fill, um, the, the pits, the engineering fees, the, the, all of the costs that would go um, that does not include the cost of actually building the building or buying the building. Um, and there has been no cost to the state about a design of building as well. So there is no, there's no design. Um, there's a, a blueprint of the septic system with a building on it, but there's no design <coughs> for that building. It's a building that's holding a spot for whatever the building design would be, whether it be two bathrooms, three bathrooms, three bathrooms with a small garage, that, that would have to be designed at a later date as well. So are we basically deciding whether we authorize amending the plans to do backstops? Is that the question? Well, uh, to uh, uh, seeking approval from the state to amend the plans, so, you know. So we either authorize you to seek approval to get backstops or probably don't use the money. Is that what it is? At this point, you know, we've had extensions, so I don't know if they will extend us again. I'm not sure if, you know, if that's something. 
uh, that they will do. Uh, they have, to this point, like I said, there was an advance originally of $8,750, and then over the years, the, the invoices that have been paid by the state actually number in $23,000, so they've actually overpaid in almost by $4,000, so <coughs> the town already has $4,000 of roughly state money that if we don't spend any more money has to go back to the state. So at this point in time, it's either try to get approval to spend what we can of that remaining money or give back the okay. remaining so funds. It's, so it's just basically whether we want to switch gears and ask the state to do backstops instead of bathrooms? Yes. Okay. Lou, did you see the uh, original application? Yes. Okay. Didn't there give some leeway as far as various amenities? It didn't just say bathrooms? Uh, the general provision was to, was to improve Bathroom the athletic planning. fields. Yeah. But the specific uh, actions that we were looking to take were bathrooms. So we would go back to revise our specific actions. All right. if, you feel, if you feel you have to do that, that that's fine. Um, I left, when I wrote that grant, and was involved in that, uh, I left them uh, to be general because usually when you do things like this, you gotta, you know, the, the, the part was bathrooms. And incidentally, there was part of a larger amount of money that was being leveraged in, which never, uh, it kind of fell apart. But um, those are, it's 100% funds. So if you feel you have to change that and uh, get it amended, I urge you to do that. It's 100% reimbursed uh, by the state of New York. <laughs> And it's slowing down uh, Plan B, C, and D um, because uh, we were we need they want they need to see that we're doing this and and unfortunately it we got this in 2007 and uh, you know we can uh, we can do some other things as we start to knock on doors trying to get other funding resources so um, if that's what has to be done then I urge the town board to. Uh, change that wording. I didn't think it had to be done, by the way. Um, but if you've made some phone calls, yes. uh, athletic fields and fixing up athletic fields and stuff, and it's back stock. Also, I want to call your attention to, which I sent an email to you, um, that field two backstop as the only entranceway to the other 70 acres of land that the town owns. Um, that backstop, you will notice, is more, it's less expensive. It was a portable type thing we set up. Correct. Because in the long run, that might have to be removed. But um, you know, I don't know what your plans are. Um, but um, there's no question the backstop and some of the fences do need a... And $15,000 ain't going to go too far. But we need to jump on it because uh, we got an extension of a year. I think we got three or four months left. So we've got to rock and roll. Yeah. Okay. I didn't put this on the... Um meeting section because generally I try especially with you know issues that might need some consideration um, to leave a little to leave a little um, space next Tuesday do we let want do to the, yeah the, do we uh, want to put this on the meeting section for a vote or we do we even need a vote or I don't think because he's just inquiring to see if he can change the stated purpose right. of the grant right I mean, so I think we would urge you yeah. to go ahead there we go. with that and to see that if we can change the grant, the wording of the grant, so that we could fix the backstops and possibly some of the fencing. I think, the, I, I personally think that it would be um, a much better use of the money to fix mm -hmm. the backstops, which we know are in um, need of repair or replacement. I think that in order to have the kids playing baseball out there, that that's more important. We have the party johns out there, um, and the truckers, thank you very much, and the school bus drivers, thank you very much. Um, but I'd like to see the kids have, you know, the backstops, which actually is, you know, going to enhance their games and their recreation. So, so the board urges you. Yes. I'm not taking well, I will, you know, I will do, fill out the required paperwork to, to do the change and then we will have to hear back from the state what if they will approve that if they will then you know we can go forward and, and get some rfps from local fence contractors see what we can definitely do and then if you know 
what money is with what are left if we can do additional fence repair or whatever we can get done to improve the the park and that is what we will do good thank you thank you Lou. expedite as quick as possible the state is slow yes <laughs> Okay, the next uh, matter on is the sewer district. Um, review of property owners' requests to opt out of the sewer district. Um, we had Mr. Sclafani here um, at the last meeting um, who made a case for his opting out based on the fact that he doesn't have a building. Um, and since this is, you know, a new um, procedure under under a new law, um, you know, you'll, hopefully the public will excuse us if we are bumbling a little um, in how to exactly handle this. I don't know. I didn't put anything on for a vote at the end of the meeting because I think that um, we certainly need to discuss and, um, you know, perhaps put things on for a vote at the next meeting. But um, Mr. Sclafani submitted all of his paperwork to the town clerk who then distributed it to board members and hopefully everyone's had a chance to review the documentation so i don't know if we want to have discussion at this point um but i guess i'm just going to think out loud a little bit here basically what we're being <coughs> asked to do is take away the um the amount of use from the sewer district the gallons and therefore um he's next year not paying taxes on it because he's not given any. Uh, so that's beneficial to him. Um, it could be beneficial to the sewer district because we do have this excess uh, gallons out there with a bunch of unimproved properties and we've designated them uh, specific estimated amounts. Mm -hmm. And so if we put this back into the sewer district bank, for example, then if somebody wanted to build something and we were short an amount, we could then allocate that use that's going to be sitting mm -hmm. in a bank now to these new to the new developer, and and we do have some leeway to you know pull some gallons from some properties and give them to others depending on how um, you know the development happens. I mean these are relatively small parcels, I think, and if you know. If he doesn't want to be in the sewer district, that's something we can consider. But we also have to remember at this very early stage is that there's a lot of people who aren't going to be, want to be in the sewer district. Uh, yeah, we have hands being raised. And 